Welcome to North Carolina Book Watch. This is a special edition at Carolina Meadow, south of Chapel Hill, where we are talking to some of the great authors who live here, who have residents here. And first, my guest is uh, John Sheldon Reed, familiar to all of you all, familiar to us, uh, in large part uh, due to his work on barbecue. <laughs> and it's, uh, John, it's, it's, uh, a little bit hard for me to focus on barbecue in light of your contributions uh, throughout your professional pr career and helping us understand where we come from, uh, what the South is like. But your latest book is about barbecue. Well, that's related to where we come from and what the South is like. How's that? <laughs> well, I, I said once you can't understand the South if you don't understand barbecue as, as an occasion and a process and a dish on the plate. and. I, I could give you a half hour lecture on the subject, but I'll, I'll spare you. North Carolina, the Carolinas, I guess I should say, is sort of the uh, mother church of the barbecue world. And what they're doing in eastern North Carolina is what everybody was doing 200 years ago. And uh, it spread from there and it changed as it went out. And, uh, as I say, it's a complicated topic. I talk with it, actually, talk about it in the introduction to this book. Wonderful introduction to your book, but still we ask, after um, you and your wonderful wife and uh, Will uh, McKinney. McKinney put out what has to be one of the greatest books of all time focused on North Carolina barbecue, why did you feel it necessary to tell us more? <clears throat> well, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> the UNC Press has a series of little cookbooks like this one, uh, each one on a particular food. There's a peaches cookbook and a buttermilk cookbook and a cornbread cookbook like that. And uh, the world doesn't need another barbecue cookbook because I've got 30 of them at home. You know, uh, but the series needed a barbecue cookbook. And, and uh, they came and asked me and Dale, my wife, uh, since we'd written this book on North Carolina barbecue seven or eight years ago, asked us if we would write the one in this series. And uh, simultaneously, what did Dale say? Well, Sim she said no. At the same time, I was saying yes. So, uh, so th I was on my own for this one. Although I have to say, she did a, a lot of recipe testing. I mean, not so much not cooking, eating. No. Well, were you testing the recipes for your barbecue uh, cookbook here at Carolina Meadows? Yes, I was. Everything. So I'm sure all of your friends <laughs> got a chance to. Well, taste no, them I, I can't say. I invited them over. Uh, I wasn't sure it was going to work, you understand? Uh, I, I, I cooked a goat once. Uh, there's a goat recipe in here. I had, and did some of your had, friends had, here? I had some neighbors over to eat goat, yes. Yeah, I wonder if any of the people here at Carolina Meadows missed eating that goat. <laughs> well, I tell you what, there's one recipe in here that I did not test. It's the only one I didn't test, and that's for hog snoots. There's a for barbecued hogs. Hog snoots, yeah. It used to be uh, very widespread, particularly in the urban south. Uh, but now it's retreated to a heartland around sort of East St. Louis. Uh, which is, so you gave us a recipe that you didn't test. I did. Uh, the reason I did, I put it in for purposes of showing we eat everything, all parts of the hog, or some people do. <laughs> but uh, well, I think you should fire up your cooker and invite us all for hog uh, snout barbecue. <laughs> well, I swiped that recipe from a woman named Dottie Griffith who wrote it at one of those 30 barbecue cookbooks I've got. And she said uh, the taste is rather unpleasant and it has a consistency sort of like a dog's chew toy. Uh, <laughs> so, so I said, well, well, maybe I can live without uh, testing this one. <laughs> you know, if, if the idea of eating uh, nostrils and facial skin uh, puts you off, don't think too much about your next hot dog. The great debate in North Carolina is uh, not about Carolina and Duke mm -hmm. or Carolina and State but it's about Eastern versus Lexington or Western style mm -hmm. barbecue. What is the difference? Well, it's not a great deal of difference, although uh, what? We, <laughs> we, 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 you know, there are wars over the little bit of difference. But well, I mean, that's like saying there's not much difference between Carolina and Duke. I mean, well, it's all basketball, you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, the two are much more like each other than either ones like what you get in Memphis or Texas or Kansas City, which is what this book's about. It's kind of pan-Southern. But basically, Eastern North Carolina barbecue, which is what everybody was doing, as I said, 200 years ago, is whole hogs cooked over coals and mopped with a uh, sauce that's basically vinegar and red pepper and salt and not much else. 
Some so it's the meat. That it's the meat. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the sauce, it's not really sauce, it's more seasoning. And does it matter how you cook that meat? <laughs> it does to me, DG. <laughs> I, uh, w w I'm the Eminence Grease of an organization called the Campaign for Real Barbecue, and we are, exist to honor those places that cook with wood still. You know, if it, Pete Jones down at the Skylight Inn in Aden said, said once, uh, you know, if it's not cooked with wood, it's not barbecue. And I think you've said that. I've said that. <laughs> of course, there's no law that says, you, you know, you can cook uh, sloppy joes and call it barbecue if you want to. There's, uh, it's a free country, uh, still is, but uh, the, uh, uh, it's not barbecue as far as I'm concerned. I didn't get to Piedmont barbecue, the difference from, from Eastern. Uh, about the time, 100 years ago, about the time of World War I, some guys in Salisbury and Lexington, and we know who they are, we know their names, started uh, cooking not whole hogs, but just pork shoulders. And they put a little ketchup in that Eastern sauce. So people talk about tomato sauce in the Piedmont. It's not a tomato-based sauce. It's vinegar-based, but it's got some ketchup in it. Just a little touch, just for color, flavor, sweetness, umami, excuse the word. Uh, but as I say, the two are very similar, uh, and I'll eat either one happily. I'm, I'm not a part of it. John Reed, I could talk to you all afternoon about barbecue and about uh, what the South is really like, <laughs> but our time's up. I thank well, you for uh, letting me come visit with you at Carolina Meadows. Thanks a lot, DG. Always good to talk with you. Mm -hmm.